Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we're hanging out here in West Hill on the Citadel server. We're going to be picking up where we left off last week, outside of the main gate, working on some details. I was just hanging out here by the West Hill River. Grandpa Crafter, celebrating the third month of a 12-month gift sub from Cosmic Dancer. Thanks for the shout out for Cosmic Grandpa and Cosmic Dancer, thanks for that lovely gift. Much appreciated. So today, I think we're going to start off with this corner here. I had an idea to change this a little bit, and I think I'm going to give it a go. It's uh, it's not a lot to change back if we decide not to like it. Uh, I took a decent screenshot before I uh, started the show, so it should be pretty easy. What we were doing last time was adding in some additional paths along here. So we've got this area where it makes sense for carts to maybe go all the way down to the road and hang a right, but someone on foot would more than likely take a shortcut. And so that's what we've added here is a shortcut. Now it's not finished really up this end because I'm not sure what's happening in this space. I really have no clue what to do here yet. So I'm, I'm gonna skip it for now. I'm also uh, I'm not really clear about this e section either. It's just this very odd space. I'm not sure what to do. Uh, I feel like we can maybe put like a rock or something or just try and create some sort of like impasse. Uh, also, we did have this tree here. I threw that in at the end of the last stream just to kind of illustrate that I would like there to be something there. So we will work on that as well. I think that actually might be a good place to start just because it feels kind of odd the way that it is. All right, let's go fill up our inventory for trees and then we'll uh, sort out what's next. Weirdly, all my stuff is to way over here. I just, I'm being a little bit lazy to move it. All right, I'm gonna need probably some of these. Acacia leaves will probably make this an oak tree. Don't think I'm going to need bricks. Leave those. Dirt. That should be good. Hamish, hello, welcome back. Hope you're having a good day. So, I guess before I get over there, Let's see where I would like the tree. It's not bad there. I don't think I want it any farther to the left. Or the right, rather. Uh, we're working on some details outside the main gate here. Yeah, okay, so I, I don't want to line it up with that tree. So, if anything, we might nudge it a little bit to the right. First time hopping by, says Dancing Dave. Welcome in. Well, thanks. I appreciate that you chose this stream to get better at building. Yeah, I feel like if we bump that just a little bit to the right, it'll be good. And I don't want it to be as tall as the bridge. Yep, I think just two blocks to the right. We'll worry about the trunk after, but it's the main. Well, probably a good three blocks to the right. And then as far as where it is here, I know I'm going to start the main trunk. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three about here. And I feel like I'll want to move it this way. Probably. Like right here. And I'm going to go up. Oh, I forgot my other blocks. Maybe this tall. Any tips for getting better? That's a broad question. Um, can you be more specific? If you're not sure, use reference. It's places like Pinterest or ArtStation.com. MP, subscribing with Prime, 14 months. Thanks very much. Yeah, I think that'll be a better spot for that tree. The right height as well. Oh, those are getting low. Keep an eye on those. We might not taking a trip. Perfect background screen. Very cool. Mosaic dream. Appreciate it. Working on a vintage knitting pattern. That sounds cool. Needs the tips on getting better at playing with a keyboard and mouse. I just spend more time playing with a keyboard and mouse. I, you know, there's no shortcut to just getting better. You just have to put the time in. I find that a lot of times when people come into the stream and ask, for that kind of stuff, it's just like there's just no quick way to do it. You just have to put in the time. It's just like learning to type, you know, same thing. Uh, I'm just going to make another pair of shears. Okay. That's not bad. I think we'll make it a little bit bigger. It's a cloak, but I'm shortening it because I'm short. <laughs> so it's a hobbit cloak, is what you're saying.
Oh, I didn't bring any scaffolding. That was dumb. I find sometimes with trees you've got to be a little bit uh, chunkier than you think you have to. Find it helps. Try to get some depth going on. Also try to think about it in more than just two dimensions. <laughs> Not bad, getting there. Feel like this might have to go out a little bit. Yeah, and then we'll put something lower over here, maybe. Oh, I didn't bring any slabs or uh, fence gates. And your flyovers, this area is really starting to feel long and established. Thanks. That's the plan. I'm really looking forward to getting a new data pack with uh, with 1.21 where we can just craft mini blocks and we can just I'll talk to the other server members but like I, I really want to just get rid of the wandering trader I, I really can't stand him
you have anything that I want? You know, I just don't care. Something that Fwip said on Monday's Spawn Chunks podcast really has stuck with me, which was that he hates being in menus. He wants to play Minecraft, he doesn't want to be in menus. And I think that that's a really good way of, I guess, explaining one thing I don't like about The Wandering Trader. Gappy the guy, welcome in, good to see you again. Oh, I went all that way, and I forgot to bring my scaffolding back. The thing about the uh, the fullness of the area, Grandpa Crafter, is that it's uh, it's starting to make the empty areas feel very empty. So, like, if I take a look here, you know, like this feels really good but then this feels really good and then this feels empty right same thing with like this area here that area there like chunks of it like this area here on the corner i think we're good but then like i need something in here and i need to figure out what i'm going to do in there too So this makes it feel like there's a bit of a hole in the trunk. So I might actually go up a little bit higher in the middle here. It's easier to get away with the stairs when you're uh, covering it with leaves. Don't think that was there. Those desire paths? I don't know what a desire path is. Just a footpath.
Acrylic, the progress has been going pretty well. Thanks very much. We are uh, adding in some of the, the details in these green spaces outside of West Hill. Adding a little custom tree here. I think the top needs to be more flat. And I think we're going to make it a little bit bigger at the bottom. Yeah. I've got coarse dirt there. This will end up being something else, I think, but for now. Hmm. A little bit better. I think that's starting to get there. I think I want more happening down here. leaves a desire path is a man-made path created by people walking on grass turning it into a dirt path yeah pretty much that's yeah i would say that's accurate then for example people might want to cut across the grass instead of walking longer distance on the paved pathway totally yeah that, that's the that's what's going on the one that you were looking at is this one i think that's the new one yeah anything at all that you can do to add life movement into Minecraft I think is worth taking a, a crack at, right? Alright, my patience is now done. If you wouldn't just stick your face in the camera all the time, I wouldn't bother with you. Yeah, the top is a little bit pointy.
It's a really awkward place to build it. This little step down trips me up all the time. Oh, uh, now it's a little bit too even. Crap. I think I need to push it. Push the top farther north. It's a little bit better. Still very square. I have to start using this camera a little bit more by default. I tend to forget about it. So I bring that down. Blast Jordan, hello, good to see you. I really wish we could jump off of scaffolding. It really seems like such a basic thing to add in the game. I think the problem is that it doesn't look like any of the trees that are nearby. I think I've maybe made the top too small now. It's starting to look okay from this side.
bring an extra bed. Oh, I don't have one. I guess we'll just take this one. Oh, boo, good to see you. Aldebar, how's it going with you? In a minute? Oh, crap, what was that? Grass? And unfortunately, it kind of blends in with the trees behind it. It's a little bit better. I'm wondering if I could even push this back a bit farther. That goes that way. That doesn't really change the shape of the trunk at the bottom, though. So awkward when you can't see where you're standing. Doing well, says Aldebar. Good stuff. Glad to hear it. Yeah, I like that arc. I think we need to remove a few things here. A little bit better, even though it's just one block.
It's doing pretty well. So this, I want to put a little bit more, I think, on the top there. The other thing that we have to think about is some of the other vantage points. Like, so we've got this key point down here that we're going to be able to see this tree from. Right? So I want to make sure it looks good from this angle. We actually did okay. This actually looks more organic than the other way. Probably because I was thinking about this side less. Gives some nice depth to the view of the bridge, which is cool. What are we doing over here? Well, we can see it around the bridge. That's good. Not bad. It's a little sparse down there. And the top's a little bit funky. more on here that should be good and then I wanted more down the bottom here didn't I Oh, it has to go lower, even lower still. Alright, let's take a couple of checks, see what it looks like from a distance. Not going to be able to see it in the fog. Although we get a good silhouette, that's kind of cool. I do find once everything runs in or renders in that it lines up with some of these trees back here. Makes this tree look kind of blocky, doesn't it? The only thing I don't like is this little pointy bit there. Yeah, that's working. I think that's done.
one tree is a garden tree the other one is a wild tree i don't think i've even finished this tree i think this tree was something i was going to finish at a later date probably whenever we do the road I think that's it. Time to walk away. At least on the top part. Not entirely sure about this either. Probably worth putting a slab or something in there too. As far as the tree texture goes, I think we're good. I'm gonna get some other blocks for down here. And we'll need some bushes and things. Probably some azalea. Cool. So what I like about this is that we can actually see the bottom there from the road. So it's a good opportunity to throw in some mixture of blocks like we did over here. So we can do soul sand, soul soil, coarse dirt, and rooted dirt. I think that's all we need. Moss carpets. Yeah. The EP Panda, welcome back. Thanks for the lurk. Appreciate it. prioritize blocks that I can see from the uh, the road
Yeah, that works. There used to be a cave there, apparently. I find doing stuff like that makes it kind of your your brain kind of connects the dots and it makes it look like a line. Actually probably a little bit straight here. Maybe we'll Throw in some dirt and maybe we'll switch this. Yeah. That I feel I could use a bit of height. Maybe we'll put a slab. I find anything that you can do to soften the edges of things really, really helps. Mind Trip Media with the Lurk and 100 Bits. Thanks ever so much. Hope you're having a good day so far. That's pretty good. That's working. Just to kind of break up the core dirt a little bit. Now, could we maybe layer in a little bit more grass? That's a bit too much. I feel like maybe here instead. Nope.
I think that looks pretty good. No complaints. It's funny how one block can push things one way or the other. Not quite there. Stream is that one hour, says Sweet Sandy. Thanks very much. I agree. Time for a short break, I think. But I think that's a decent shot. I think that one of the nice things that this illustrates is, you know, I started off with needing a tree in this space based on views from over there. But then once we get the tree in here, it creates some overlap and depth happening with the bridge. Uh, obviously it has uh, a nice shape to it, but then it also, because we have a thing here, we can immediately just start to fill in this area between the road and the tree. And then all of a sudden, like this little triangle of space is done. You know, just by taking a few little elements and pushing them up here, and then taking that design idea and kind of sprinkling it down the, the area. So, I mean, here, I don't exactly know what would or should go here. If anything, I don't know, a rock, something. There's no path down here. This is meant to be a, a cliff you can't go down. The idea here is that there's a secret entrance for folks that don't know. There's a secret entrance to the basement of the of the inn, but you get access here. So yeah, I don't know what to put in this space. Either way, I'm going to step away for that short break. You should too. Grab yourself a drink of water, grab a snack, maybe even let a friend know that we're streaming. Always trying to grow the channel. Always fun to welcome in new folks. And I'll be back in about five or six minutes.
So now that we've done the tree, we have to figure out what's next. Squeal it. Hello, welcome back. I think maybe we'll back up and just double check that this tree looks good from all the different places. And then uh, maybe we'll work on the, the corner here. So one of the reasons I put that tree in there is because I wanted to fill this space between the bridge and the inn. And I think that that helps break up what was a very flat horizon there. That was the whole purpose of it. Obviously more stuff is going to render in as we walk down here. But I think it breaks up the sky a bit, which is nice. Obviously, it's very heavily in shadow with the shaders on. That's fine. But it's nice, nice contrast. It's a nice close tree compared to the very distant trees. Yeah, I like the vibe. Success. It's so funny how similar Minecraft is for me to drawing and painting. I very much create scenes in a way that I would as if I was drawing or painting. Looks good there. Let's walk out the front and see. You can see that how the custom trees help really make the landscape feel lived in. I shouldn't say lived in. Like nature has lived in here, I guess, a while. That's the thing. That's the idea. So really good contrast between a very close object and a very far object, the mountain in the distance. It blends in a little bit with those trees behind it, but not too much. You really get a good look at it walking down this path. It's a really interesting, a lot of interesting shapes happening here. That's cool. Zim45, welcome in. Thanks for saying hi. All right. Inventory purge. As best I can, anyway. What do I not need? Probably all of this stuff. Keep those. Don't need those. Don't need two stacks of coarse dirt, that's for sure. Don't need the scaffolding anymore. Don't think I need the acacia log. I don't know where those came from. And probably don't need the vines either. So what I was thinking of here was the fact that this path feels very straight very boring and doesn't really go with the vibe of the other paths. So like this has got a nice little curve to it. 
the fact that there's two here kind of make a lot of sense. One goes to the inn, the other one goes to the bridge. Um, this one, this doesn't have any paths on the corner. It's just got a little, a little like scuff up here. And then this path makes sense where you might want to go down here. I mean, this could almost have, this can almost have like a little V, right? Like I could almost put like a little, a little V here if I wanted to. Um, I'm not crazy about this one. This feels, this feels normal. This feels normal. Uh, but then there's nothing connecting here. So from here, I feel like you'd end up going kind of straight out this way. But then that leaves this weird triangle that we'd have to decorate. So and there's obviously not much going on here, and that's fine. Uh, we'll have to change that. Uh, but the big thing that I wanted to try and start on is, is this corner here. So I think what I'm going to do is rather than having this be a path, I'm going to turn the whole thing into coarse dirt. And instead of being a straight line, it's going to have like a nice S curve to it. So it's going to kind of curve around like that. Um, I think certainly going to have a curve there and it'll be a little bit more like a wagon stop or like people cutting the corner too quickly. And it'll, it'll look more like this. The question though, is what do we do with the light? What do we do with this lamppost? I mean, we can move it, I guess. It's not like it's really lighting up a heck of a lot. It doesn't even cover the road. So, first things first. I'm going to take a screenshot just so I can say, okay, this is what was here before. Before we changed it. I'm going to try and just do an outline on it first, and then we'll go from there. I guess I'll just use coarse dirt for that. It's probably the easiest thing. So I like where it starts. If anything, we might be able to push it a little bit farther back. Probably going to be easiest just to remove this whole thing. grass in a second here. All right, so if we're going to cut this corner, The angle I was thinking of would be pretty subtle at first. One, two, maybe Two there. I'm just gonna eyeball this first and then we can tweak it later.
All right, so that's the right idea, but it's a pretty messy shape. We'll have to refine this a bit. Plexley, hello. I, I didn't bring the grass. So I'm, tr I'm trying to leave some of this stuff here to help, help us maybe inform what might come next. I think it's pretty good. If anything, it could maybe go a little bit deeper. It feels kind of straight through here, but this is this is the problem with with Minecraft. That you're dealing with large sections that's a little bit better I just definitely want it to be asymmetrical and I didn't I didn't want this curve to be centered on the corner like I kind of wanted more going on here maybe we can start early Mm -hmm. I think that's pretty good. I don't think I'm going to leave the grass, but I might leave some of the moss just for fun. Just to see what it looks like. Maybe a little, it'll inform some ideas. dirt too.
Yeah, that's what I thought too. Like it, it helps with the shortcut, but it also makes sense as far as the um, something a little bit extra, right? Just to keep things looking different, so I don't have the same thing on every corner. Because there was already a shortcut here. I think keeping the moss in there was a good idea just to kind of have it look a little bit more interesting. I mean, there's a little bit too much right now, but still not bad. I like the idea of maybe roughing up the corners a little bit here, too. Don't know about the bush though. Feels kind of central. So we've had some of this going on. So this I want to maybe just copy over. Because I like the way that that looks. Is that sort of working? I don't know about this. That's a little bit better. Helps break up the road. Yeah, so that's the idea here is that I might be able to put in like a cart or something. That could be fun. Uh, this is not the block that I would use, but if I was going to put something there, you think about your main approach to the gate, right? I feel like this lamppost gets a little bit lost, so I might want to move the lamppost over, but I certainly think something can go right about here, which is where roughly that bend is. I guess the question is, would I want to put it this way?
I think it might be better to have it go the other way. I cannot sleep. Welcome in. No, it's not a public server. It's a private server. I don't know if that's too far back. It sort of looks like it lines up with that. So maybe we'll push it forward. Could even be a little bit more to the left. Yeah, not bad. It'll be higher, so that'll probably work. Blends in the light blends in less at nighttime and less as you're coming down the road here. I might still move it over just a tad though. Cuz it feels like it's um sort of in the way. If wagons were like coming in here and cutting across, that feels like it's certainly in the way of things now. Yeah, I feel like I just at least a block over and a block forward. So like here maybe for the lamppost. Thanks for the links in chat, Sandy. Uh, that's true, there is a patron server. Very similar vibe. If you're interested in playing with some friends that love Minecraft that are just some casual casual players, uh, Andesite and Stonebrick. If I put that there, does that line up with this one? No, okay. See, even just a couple of blocks over, I feel like would do do some good. I do not have the inventory space for this. I guess I can just use what's already there. Fence gate goes here. Dark oak though.
see if this makes a difference. Oh yeah, the largest Lego build Westgate thing. Oh geez, I didn't even, did not even see him. Where did you come from? So it's moved over a little bit. And I think that gets lost less. I don't, it doesn't blend into that as much, so that's good. It's a good move. Question though is that now the cart is maybe too close to it. Or the cart will be too close to it. I really want to have the cart on an angle, but I, I don't know. I don't really feel like I could build a cart on an angle. Darker ground, the light, the lamppost pops out a bit more. That's true. Yeah, I think that's too far back. Yeah, it feels very even with this, and there's not enough room to walk behind it, so we'll move it forward. I guess it doesn't have to be that big. We could also make it like a, a small cart. Although that's going to be hard to separate the wheels if we do that. All right. I think the only thing left to do is uh, tweak the edge of this here. So because of this, I want to change the angle on the row just ever so slightly. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I feel like this should be maybe three, two, and then two. Makes it just a little bit different. That works a little bit better. Don't know about all this grass out here though. Maybe we can put a little bit of grass around this thing. But maybe not out here.
Could be a cart with wheels on one end and handles on the other end. Yeah, I could do that too. I think it maybe could use a fence post to prop up the other side or something. That works. Uh, and a site gravel and I think maybe trap doors, maybe some planks, and certainly some these. I guess I should put some of this stuff away so that I can actually have room to do the cart itself. Let's go take a look at the cart that I've done recently. Signs, trapdoors, slabs mostly. So, I think we'll try our hand at just using some fences or fence gates. Let's see what we can come up with. Oh, what should I put on the cart? I was thinking maybe hay would be cool. Oh, I do have some bamboo here. So I'm thinking we do this and then we'll have slabs underneath this part. Oh, slabs are in the middle. I don't mind copying this. I just, I want to maybe be able to try something a little bit different. Maybe this is just a low, low back on it. Oh, but then that doesn't connect. Right. Well, maybe we wrap it around. Sort of looks okay.
But I wanted the wheels to be inside. I have to come up with a different way to do the front. I don't know if we can work in the hanging sign somehow. Yeah, that doesn't really work, does it? If those were dark oak, it might look good. Ah, uh, but then that doesn't connect to anything. Maybe I'll put a stair there. Getting bigger by the minute. Oh, right, I forgot that they're stripped wood textures. I think I tried that once before. That does get it very large. I wonder if something, uh, I mean, green is not the right color. I think we're going to put hay bales in the back of this. That's probably what we're going to need to do. I think maybe we'll use um, either dark oak slabs or dark oak stairs. Do I have anything out here that's hay bale? I don't think so. Uh, sandstone will be close enough for now as a quick placeholder.
Just so little room in the inventory. So it's a lot of green. The green in the cart is not helping. So we're going to switch this up. So it's a little bit different than the other wagon that we've designed. Thank you, Sweet Sandy. Appreciate it. So one thing we could try, this, try something like this maybe, if I wanted to get rid of the wheels. Problem is that the fences will connect. Well, that's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. It's just different. The other idea would be to just have fence gates here and obviously put the wheels back I think I kind of like the fences this gets a little bit busy with the wheels and the fence gates peers intensely at small wagon design <laughs> you like it Elkhorn? Oh, wait a minute. Let's go higher. Oh, here's skeleton somewhere. Probably under the bridge. Yeah, I think I like the um, the fence gates, or not the fence gates, the fences, just because they're different than what we've been doing. Hmm, not enough contrast there. What do we think looks better? The two signs and the trapdoor? Or the trapdoor in between them? I think the two signs looks better. What do we think, chat? Yeah, two signs, trapdoor at the back. I agree. I imagine that's all hay bales and stuff.
Looks pretty good. Fazu Battlecaster. The 12 month gift subscription courtesy of Cosmic Dancer, another Cosmic Dancer gift sub, entering its third month. That happened earlier today with, uh, I think it was, who was it that did earlier today? M. MP. No, that was a prime sub. Who was it earlier? Grandpa Crafter. It was Grandpa Crafter. Thanks for the shout out, Fazu. Appreciate it. Uh, I think, as much as I don't like the top texture of the trapdoors, I think they have to go dark here. I think that helps. The body of it feels like it's dark, and then the wheels feel like they're a certain texture, and then the railings feel like they're made out of a different wood. So I'm down for that. Now, I'm not going to change this one just yet because I want to put proper hay bales up here. So we'll leave those where they are. Don't think I want to do that. I could potentially... No. I definitely want to get my hay. I think it's in my mud box, maybe. In one of these. Bamboo. There we go. I thought I had hay bales, but maybe I just haven't crafted any in a long time. Don't think that bamboo blocks go well with those. We'll see. Oh, I gotta craft it. Hold on. So we've got sandstone is already over there. I'll get a little bit of sand. I also want maybe some of this, which means I've gotta get rid of something else. And, oh, I was just in there. Birch is another good one. Crap. I do have, like, one block. That's annoying. So first, I guess we just decide which ones are going to be visible. So the hay bale up top is definitely going to be something I want. So let's put this here. You definitely want that to be visible. That's going to stay a slab. So underneath it, maybe we can go with something a little bit darker. Maybe that could be better over here. This is where I think the birch would look really good. And then here, it's either gonna be sand or another hay bale.
This is where I think I want to put the birch. Yeah, the oak is just a little bit too too dark. It works back here because it's it's nice and light. It's also this is also going to be covered up by the signs, of course. This would probably be better if it was that way. So we can see the stripes. Yeah, and then I think birch on this side and we're good. Sweet Sandy, thanks for the reminder. Appreciate it. I'm just going to take it out of here. It'll bug me, but that's what we're going to do. Yeah, definitely the nice, nice light color. This might even be a little bit too bright, but slabs are not going to work in that situation. So we didn't have time to texture the ground, but that's fine because I probably want to texture the ground around the idea that the cart is there. So that's what we'll do. I think that looks pretty good. So just as an overview, that's now what we've got coming into town. It's a little on the bright side, but it also hasn't had any like grass put around it. I've not textured anything, so it looks kind of plunked there. That'll change, I think, once we once we do that. Moving that light was a good idea. I'm not sure how that affected the light. Yeah, I guess we need to figure out some more lighting and stuff around here. Um, yeah, I like it. Still feels like we can sort of walk behind it. And we'll figure out what other things we're going to put along here, but I think that makes it looks nice and different. Uh, once we figure out what's going on over here, I think it'll be cool this will feel a little bit more organic and less formulaic it felt very much like a like a cross like a star so i'm glad that we were able to fix that finally can put some of this stuff away And of course, we also added the tree. Now when you walk in from this side, you've got the wagon that shows up. I mean, I guess the sun's kind of in our face right now. The wagon and the trees or, and the, um, the post kind of overlap now. And I think the wagon is lined up with the tree too. Oh no, no, we're good. We'll have to do a little bit of something around the wagon and the light to make them separate out a little bit. That tree I'm really happy with. I really like the way that that worked. Good stuff. And yeah, it's a little... We might have to find a different spot for that lamppost. That or we move the wagon over to like that section. I had to do that with that other wagon too. I built it and then I had to move it. It would probably look better there. It's alright. I can always recreate it. It feels a little far forward. It could be that there's just, just nothing kind of between it and the road. 
It would certainly fill this space here if we wanted it to. Yeah, I think it'll have to move. I like the design. We might just have to scooch it along a little bit. All right, well, that's where we're going to leave everybody. We are going to be back again tomorrow. That is Thursday. That's uh, UTC minus three hours. I think I've been saying four, but I think it's UTC minus three hours right now um, for Atlantic time. One o'clock is when I stream Wednesday through Saturday now. We've moved the Sunday stream to Wednesday. Uh, we will be doing Lego on Friday, and we're building the main gate in Lego thanks to Grandpa Crafter, so make sure you tune into that. It's, uh, it's a really cool Lego design based on, on this front of the town. Uh, you can check out things like the Spawn Chunks podcast. There's a new episode out with guest Fwip, who filled in for Johnny while he's away on vacation. And so I'll have uh, Fwip and uh, friends coming in to uh, fill in. Next up, we've got Impulse SV coming on the show on this coming Monday. So make sure you're subscribed wherever you listen to your podcast. It's free, very easy to find. Uh, you can, of course, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Joel Duggan, very easy to find. And check out Patreon patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. That is where most of my support comes from for uh, not only just uh, the Citadel, but uh, the Infinity Cove is a great perk over on Patreon. So if you want to join the Discord, it's only $2 a month. It's less than a cup of coffee. I really appreciate it. Uh, Sandy, thank you ever so much for the modding today. Thanks to all of the folks that submitted bits and gift subs, all that stuff, prime subs. I really appreciate it. You help a great deal in the regular streaming schedule from this end of things, and uh, I really appreciate it. I will see you all tomorrow. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye for now.